you're, you have a kind of reputation in, in, a, in a fun way as being a bit of a messer. Uh, I, you mentioned Donna Callahan there, of course. He'd be a messer in chief in some respects. He's it? a courier. He's an awful courier. Go yeah. on. Well, it's just, you know, you know, you know, everyone else knows at this stage, you know, he's, he's, he's built his profile on it, you know, but... And what do you mean, he's... Well, he's, he's always up to no good and he's, he's clowning around and, yeah. you know, it'll bite him in the bum someday, you know? Well, I'm going to tell you, Jerry, I called Dunica this morning, this afternoon, uh, and uh, I, I, I was asking him, just do some research. So I took a few notes from him as to, I said, look, I'm talking to Jerry tonight and um, he just gave me some tips as to what I should ask you about or... Okay. So, can we look, look at that card? No, there no, that's me? mine. And you wouldn't read my writing anyway. He said, "Give Jerry a platform to talk himself up, and he will." Um, and he said, "Jerry's convinced Monster were nothing until he left Connacht and joined the Monster Squad. He sometimes looks like Ellen DeGeneres." <laughs> and who's gorgeous? When who is she's beautiful? Go she's gorgeous. She is a beautiful woman. Yeah. And then there was a point when, when it came to haircuts. You said you wanted to go to a barber shop. He said he was going to Tony and Guy's. He, and Jonica told me today, he said that you weren't exactly dragged kicking and screaming to Tony and Guy's after all, and that this was part of the thing. But he also said on the subject of the jerseys that uh, when you gave him the jersey, he said, I wanted to play in that jersey in the way that Jerry Flannery would and that it completely fueled the performance the next day because you weren't there, they played extra hard for you which I thought was quite a nice thing to say. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. Under circumstance. Nice. But the rest of the stuff is just taking the mickey out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much a staple with Tonica. What, 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 what happened with the, with the, in Auckland with, with the hair? If we could just mention Jeez, that. It's like, it's like I'm reliving an old nightmare all the That's time. That's okay. This Talk it out. It gets better if you were. Yeah, it's like a counsellor. I should be yeah. lying down here. We're going to get a couch in in a minute. Yeah. Re release the, your demons. It was 2006 and uh, like as good as my hair looks now, back yeah. then it was a little bit, it was a little bit of a mop. And um, I actually hadn't cut it for a while for a good luck factor. We'd yeah. end up winning the Heineken Cup that year. We were lucky enough and we went off on tour to New Zealand, which is generally hell at the end of the year because you're knackered and you're going to play the All Blacks and they're pretty brilliant. But we went down there and I said, oh, I'm not going to cut my hair now. I hope we beat the All Blacks. And uh, we lost the first game anyway, so I said, oh, this isn't happening. So Dunica and myself said, I had a couple of the Kiwis come and said, mate, you need to cut your hair. And I said, well, if the New Zealanders are telling me I need to cut my hair, I need to cut my hair. So <laughs> yeah. I said to my seven Donica, I said we'd have a little date on a Wednesday and it'd be fabulous and we'd go down and get our hair cut in town. And um, I thought it was kind of a down day, you know, I think there was a meeting at half six or something like that, but it wasn't really that important. It wasn't anything to do with rugby. We went into a Tony and Guy because Donica recommended them I just get my hair cut by my mate who's a barber in Limerick. And uh, we went in there and we flipped the, flipped the coin to see who go first. Donica went in and I waited around, had a cup of coffee, flipped through Vogue. Yeah. Marie Claire. The things you do. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was being fabulous. And then um, we went off and next it was my turn and Donica said, I better head off, Flan. And I said, I was like, oh, okay. He's already, yeah, we've meeting in a while, but you know, you've got plenty of time. So I was getting a head massage, coffee. And I said, this is incredible. What have I been doing before? <laughs> Next thing I know, there's about an hour and a half past, and this girl has been cutting my hair for ages. The next minute, the team bus shows up outside, and they all storm in and pick me up and drag me out because I'd missed the meeting. And then they were the whole thing was we see we have kangaroo courts on tour to try and keep it uh, keep a bit of Discipline. you know a bit of levity in there and stuff like that. Discipline yeah. as well, if you want. Yes, yes. And um, it was all about what they were going to do to me, and they were going to shave my head. They were going to they were going to dye my hair black and perm it and stuff like that. And I was just sitting there in fear. And then the next day when I came down, there was a hearing. And um, I came down and I was put into a pair of tights and a t-shirt and given a sign, my hair is more important than timekeeping and sent off around the Auckland. The sign reads, my hair is more important than my timekeeping. And you were sent off? Around the streets of Auckland, <laughs> blowing a foghorn. And it was pretty embarrassing, but oh, I thought to myself, well, this, this, is, this is dead in the water. This is what, you know, the old, you know, yeah, what goes on tour stays, stays on, on tour. tour. Not anymore. No, I was kind of somebody filmed it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Somebody filmed it. Can you imagine that they would do such a thing? We, we wouldn't show it, though, would we? I appreciate that. <laughs> You're a good man. We'll on play to, this for your girlfriend. The next... No, no, we, we, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at a clip of that. Would you like to see a clip of that? Yeah. Let's, let's enjoy ourselves. You're judicing me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Guy. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Had to be done. <laughs> OK. But life is good for you otherwise, anyway. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, working my, I'm working my way through this thing now, you know? OK, well... Every time I talk about it, it gets a little bit easier. So yeah, well, now that you've embarrassed me on national TV, maybe, just, maybe I'll get past it. It's a form of counselling, isn't it?